Berlin's Kreuzberg district is well known for its many cafes, restaurants and bars. It's also one of the German capital's most ethnically mixed areas. Once a counterculture hotbed, it's now a magnet for hipsters from all over the world. Kreuzberg is also home to the restaurant Jollisch, which specializes in Austrian cuisine. The head chef is Tobias Janssen. Now the Italian classic spaghetti alla matriciana has been added to the menu. Jolish is taking part in a campaign started by Italian blogger Paolo Campana. On a Facebook post on August 25th, he asked restaurants to serve the dish in a show of solidarity with earthquake victims in Amatrice, Italy. Star chefs like Jamie Oliver and over 700 restaurants around the world have answered the call. Two euros are donated for every portion sold. Just much like that. The campaign has met with a very good response. People like to eat spaghetti, and if they can do something good, it tastes all the better. In the nearby Market Hall 9, Tobias Janssen collects the ingredients for the recipe. The most essential one is the pasta, from noodle makers Mani in Pasta. They make their organic spaghetti fresh every day. Pasta alla matriciana uses just a few ingredients, so it's important that they be the very best. The pasta comes from a special 50,000 euro machine and goes to restaurants and hotels throughout Berlin and the region. Next on the list, from a vegetable stand close by, are the onions, garlic and tomatoes. It's important to Tobias Janssen that they be very aromatic and ripened on the vine. The tomatoes are the basis for the sauce and, in fact, the entire dish. If the tomatoes don't taste good, the whole dish won't taste good. You have to make sure they're not green, that they're juicy and they smell good like ripe tomatoes. Back at Jolesch, Tobias Janssen first slices the bacon. The original Italian recipe calls for guanciale, but pancetta or another streaky bacon can be substituted for it. The bacon, garlic, onion and tomatoes have to be finely diced. The tomato skins can be left on or removed according to taste. If you cook the tomatoes whole, it takes too long. And you get a lot more taste with a larger surface area. Pour olive oil in a pan and saute the bacon, onions and garlic until they're transparent. Then add the tomatoes. Then briefly turn up the heat, stirring the whole time, until you get a creamy, somewhat thicker consistency. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Then place the fresh spaghetti noodles in boiling water for three or four minutes until they're al dente. Dry noodles take a few minutes longer. Finally, dress the plate. Sprinkle the dish with freshly grated pecorino cheese. And it's ready to serve. I like this dish very much because it's easy and still delicious. It doesn't always have to be high-end cuisine. That's not what cooking's about. The emphasis should be on the natural simplicity of the ingredients. For one year, patrons of Jolesch and other participating restaurants can order spaghetti alla matriciana for a good cause. So far, the restaurant Jolesch has raised about 200 euros to be sent to the Italian Red Cross and hopes there will be much more to come.